April 2017. Actually, we passed this earlier months very fast. And there have been many retrogrades that have been happening and are be going to be happening in the future. So we need to be very clear which is our planet, which is our money planet or which is our career planet. Because these retrogrades do have an impact on our horoscope. Virgo, April 27th for you. Uh, sorry, April 2017 for you. The two planets involved in your finances, that is Jupiter who occupies your money house and Venus, your actual financial planet, are both retrograde this month. Prosperity is happening, albeit in a co complicated, convoluted manner. Financial deals seem to go backwards instead of forwards. Minds change and then keep changing. People may sign contracts and not keep up to their commitments. Payments may come with great delays and efforts from your side. Patience is the call of the hour. The deals of individuals can fall through, but overall prosperity is seen. Other opportunities will come to replace them. So it's a delay, not a defeat. Venus moves backwards to your 7th house on the 2nd and spends most of the month there. This enhances your financial intuition as Venus has placed itself in your spiritual house of Pisces. But because she is retrograde, you need to verify your intuition before executed or applying in true sense. A second opinion during retrogrades is always wise. This aspect also shows a tendency towards partnerships and joint ventures before embarking. Get mental clarity which starts to happen after the 15th. So your 8th house of regeneration was powerful last month from the 20th onwards and is still powerful in the month ahead until the 19th. Your partner will support you and pick up the financial slack happening to you or in case if you feel there is a financial slack, it will be compensated by your partner's um, uh, financial abundance. Health remains good, even gets better after the 19th. There are some long-term planets, even Mars, stressing you out. Vitality seems good and spiritual healing will be more effective on the 13th and 14th. In February, the planetary power began to shift from the bottom to the top half of your horoscope. The shift is even stronger now as Mars moves into your career house on the 21st. So in general, you are more outer oriented. The two planets involved with the home and family are retrograde this month, so family issues need to be resolved. Focus more on the career, though you need time to resolve the family uh, issues, so either put it on the back burner or probably keep um, addressing them side by side, but career should not be neglected at all. Mars in your 10th house shows much activity and aggressive in the career. Be prepared for changes happening around you. So forewarned is forearmed. Good luck. These are all generic trends. Never to forget that the retrogrades are always very personal as different planets denote different things to different zodiacs. So it's very important for you to know what are your personal channel, um, personal uh, planets, how they are affecting you, how the retrogrades are affecting you. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned.